Hi, my name is MK Williams. I'm a published author. Today I'm going to go over some of my tips for assigning your ISBN in the Bowker My Identifiers portal. So this is another really easy to use system. There's going to be four tabs that you go into when you're filling out all the information. It's very self-explanatory. There's a few things that I just want to remind you of. So for each version of your book, you need to have an individual ISBN. So ebook, paperback, hardback, they're all getting their own ISBN. Once you fill out one, you can duplicate it for, to assign it to the next one and then change the few details that you need to, which is a really nice feature. Also, if you are putting out a print book, you're going to have to have an imprint assigned to it. So the first time I was putting out a paperback on KDP, I went through the system and I said, yep, this is the ISBN. I just did this 30 minutes ago and it wasn't reading it. It wasn't acknowledging that it was assigned to that imprint. That's because it took about 48 hours for that to show up in the system. So keep that in mind when you're going through. It's not that you didn't fill it out correctly. It's that one system has to talk to the other and it takes some time. Another thing that you want to keep in mind is that you're going to set your status to forthcoming for your book in the Bowker My Identifier service under your ISBN when you're doing a pre-sale. Once your pre-sale ends and your book is live, you need to remember to go back in and change that from forthcoming to live. So that's another thing to just add on your to-do list for your publication day. You're also going to leave blank your LCN, your Library of Congress control number, until you get that back. So as I mentioned before, fill out the information on your ISBN, leave that part blank, Take the ISBN number that you know you're going to use when you're applying for the LCN. Once the LCN number comes back from the Library of Congress, go back into My Identifiers and update that. So there's a few just technical details there that you want to keep in mind um, when you're doing those steps. A few things that should hopefully help make this process a bit easier for you as you're navigating how to get your book out there to the masses. I hope that you found this helpful and if you do, please click like or subscribe below and get back to writing your book.